guys and welcome to my Go Wild Austin bullet journal flip through. Um, as I mentioned in the group, I used 152 pages of this bullet journal, so almost the entire thing. And I just wanted to share with you some of the ideas for maybe doing one for yourself. This particular bullet journal is a Lamome, which I got off of Amazon. And I chose this because the paper is a little heavier weight than anything else I found. Um, and it was a little cheaper, to be honest, than uh, Scribbles That Matter. So we'll get right in. I did not use the first couple of pages. So the index I never bothered with. First page is a title page. And this sticker came from PlannerBomb.com. And I just, I love the little googly-eyed llama that she came up with for Austin. And it says, Go Wild Austin 2018. Next is ticket information. So over here I've got the day that general tickets went on sale and the conference dates, the hotel that the conference is being held at, how much my ticket costs, my ticket number. And then over here, this was swag that we got. Um, in our swag bag, this little die cut, and I mailed a little tip in, and there is my ticket from Austin. Next, I've got my flight information, which includes the airlines, the confirmation number, my flight numbers and time, my for arrival, my flight numbers and time for takeoff, 5.50 a.m., never again, <laughs> and four and a half, four hours in, um, JFK was not my favorite part of the trip. Then I have baggage restrictions with how big the bag can be. Because I've seen a lot of people not take full advantage of the personal item. It's anything that can fit underneath your seat. And it's a lot bigger than your average purse. So I make sure that I pack my purse and into my carry-on and my personal item is actually a Vera Bradley Weekender, which is huge. And, and this keeps you in control of what size that is. Over here, I've got the hotel information. I was staying at the Hyatt because the Hilton sold out so fast last year. And just the general information, what time is check-in, what time is check-out, those kinds of things. This is a little bit of a planner fail. Uh, I intended this to be a timeline of announcements and things that were going on in the group. And while I wrote some of these things down, I didn't actually get them into this journal. And I'm just leaving it here as an artifact of something that I won't do again. Then I've got my pre-travel purchase list. These are things I intended to purchase. Um, even though I did not check these off, I'm pretty sure I bought everything on this list. And then this is very, very important. <clears throat> this is my tr pre-travel to-do list. And I've got things scheduled out two weeks in advance, a week in advance, the weekend before, the day before, and then just before you head to the airport. And what makes this really, really useful to me is that I can be sitting in the airport and think, oh my God, I forgot to clean the litter box and go back and say, no, no. You did the clean litter box. Everything is fine. Then uh, another mm, sort of fail. Um, this is this side was supposed to be my list of snack ideas, and I actually wound up just using my packing list for this. So I decorated this with food from um, one of the Mambi books, which I thought turned out kind of cute. This side is my wardrobe planner, and this was very important to minimizing how much I was taking. And I followed this pretty much exactly from top to bottom. Um, and it was really useful. I actually could have used um, a couple of more outfits because when you're walking around and it's hot all day and you come back to the hotel, sometimes you want to change. So I probably will add one or two additional outfits to the plan this year. But by having the plan and following it, this kept my clothes needs to a, bit, a bare minimum. Next, we get into the packing list. So the packing list is four pages. 
And a couple of things I wanted to point out about the packing list is you'll notice there's check marks and there's cross hatches on the check marks and then there's use. So the check mark means I packed it. The cross hatch means I repacked it. So I didn't leave anything behind and I don't have to worry. Again, sitting in the airport thinking, oh my God, did I remember to pack my inhaler? Why, yes I did. And then the use, very, very important to for a first trip because what the use are is, did I use that thing or not? Now there's some things on this list that I'm going to pack that I did not use. Um, for example, I think I've got somewhere here, cough drops. I never needed a cough drop in Austin. I think with the drier air in Vegas, I might actually need some. But regardless, I'm bringing those because you never know. And then like over here. So this is in-flight entertainment. I didn't need any of it. I read my book and I used my phone. And so the rest of this is staying home. And there is my um, snack list, which again, I didn't need that snack page. Okay, so now we're getting into conference uh, and Austin information. This map, I wrote away to the... Um, tourism board or whatever it is in Austin and they sent me a book and maps and so I cut out the map and I put it in the center and kind of demarking where the actual you know information about Austin itself starts. So first I have my bucket list in visual format and these stickers came from Blue Scooter Press I believe. And then I also have down here the list of things that I'm going to do and check mark what I actually did. And you'll notice I didn't get to everything on this list. I never do, but um, I did get to quite a few of it. Oh, and these great bubble stickers came from EBGB. Then we get into specifics on my bucket list. So the Texas State Capitol was important and it was great. I got... Um, these images, I printed off the web and just pasted them in. And then I've got the address, the hours, how much it cost, information about the location. And I did this for everything I wanted to see. And what, by having it with the logos of each of the places, they were easy to find when I was looking. Museum of the Weird was a lot of fun. Uncommon Objects is actually my only regret from, my, from Austin because... By Sunday, I was just too tired to get to the antique shop, and I wish I had. Um, there's the bats. I never actually saw the bats. I wasn't that interested, to be honest. I know it's a very popular thing to do in Austin, but um, I had other things I needed to do. I never went to these two museums because these were really rainy day activities that I had just in my back pocket in case I couldn't take the walking tours. And then, what else? If you are going to Austin, I can't recommend this tour group highly enough. They, uh, Tipster Tours, they do all kinds of tours of Austin. I did, oh, and there's a cat. Hello, baby. Okay, mommy's busy. Okay. Um, they did, I took the downtown tour and the music tour, and I did not wind up taking the mural tour because I was too tired. But these two tours were a great way to see Austin. They work on tips, so there's no charge for the tour. Um, I think I wound up tipping them pretty well because the tours were really, really good. And then the Con Street Festival. Eh, I'd pass on that next time. And, <laughs> and Esther's Follies was a lot of fun. So I was a little worried when I was making this that I would not fill up the journal. So I have a few things in here that are kind of fluff. But, and this, um, I got these off of Pinterest. Uh, they're very adorable, the little bunnies doing yoga, but completely useless. They won't show up again. Okay, so now on this side, I have the menu from Go Wild, which was, print, was provided in advance so that I would know if there was anything on the menu that I could eat or if I should really bring my own snacks. I wound up really bringing my own snacks. And then you've got this um, 
itinerary, which also very, very helpful. And um, Christian provided this for free in the group last year. So hopefully that happens again. Next is my plan for the week. This spread is one of my favorite things in this whole journal. All of these stickers came from EBGB. It's one of my favorite planner shops. And it's designed for an Erin Condren hourly, but I set it up as um, just a spread in my journal. And I will probably do this again because this helped. I had my flight and everything was on this page at a glance. Quick, easy, and I would add things as I was going through the week, if I, you know, where I decided to have dinner and those kind of things, but everything was here. I love this spread. So here's another planner fail. Um, I planned to track my purchases while I was in town. Yeah, that didn't happen. I, you can see I did the first day and that was it. Um, this sticker is a sticko sticker that I got at Michael's. Next is my journaling. Now my journaling pages are three to five pages every day, which I do in the evening and on breaks and just something to really remember exactly what happened the entire time. And so that was Wednesday. That was my travel day. Thursday was registration. So there was somebody in the lobby doing lettering. So I got this spread custom made for me. And then over here I've got autographs. I've got this cute little spread that I can't remember the sticker shop. I apologize. Um, but I loved it because of the diversity and you know, the girl with the gray hair, I'm always going on about there's not enough gray haired dolls in the planner community. And then these are um, information from my um, table mates. And then I have another four pages of journaling. At the end of the night, go back to my hotel and journal. Uh, and then we get into Friday. So Erin Condren was the first speaker and these cute little stickers came from Diana Velasquez and the Sugary Girl Shop. She does beautiful work and I will definitely be getting those again, Diana, if you're um, doing them, hint, hint. So, and I've got the, um, my notes, which not a lot of notes. And then on the, on the Go Wild for Planners Instagram, there were these quotes. So if you didn't get everything, you could go back and um, grab that off of Instagram. Mika Allen did a great workshop, but not a lot of notes. So what I did was when I got home, I took some of the supplies that we were given, and this is confetti off my table, and and made this cute little art journal -y kind of spread that I really kind of like. Next is Emily Lay, and you'll notice that each of the pages has, you know, what the swag drop was, so that I could remember going back, um, especially for my journaling, what we got one and this is my first simply gilded roll of washi and so I saved the label. Then we had Heidi Swap. My absolute favorite took a bunch of notes. Um, it was really great um, and so I really really enjoyed that. And now we have a cat again. Okay sweetheart. No, 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 no. I know you're not in charge. It's okay. All right, Friday, we have uh, more journaling. And then Saturday started with the all-star panel. Kristen, Stephanie, Dasha, and our last sweat drop. So then I have journal pages, and Saturday was so packed full of stuff happening. I actually had almost five pages of journal notes and then I've got two from Sunday and while we're looking at journal notes I want to explain how I do the journaling pages so I have sorry for my arm um, a little tiny you know came from Walmart little notebook and it cost me a dollar maybe three 
at most. And what I do is I will do little bullets throughout the day. So then I take my phone and I take the bullets and I can go through and remember what order things happened in and write them down while they're fresh. The last part of this journal is, and we're up to page 82 right now, just so you know. So that was a lot. <clears throat> now is the photo album. And I do annotated photo albums. So we start with packing. <clears throat> and I always take a picture of my luggage because if by chance the airline misplaces your luggage and you have to go back to the airport and identify it and you get to the office and you tell them you have soft-sided black luggage, they're going to laugh at you. I know it's happened. So I take a picture of it and then I can show them what my luggage looks like and not just say it's black Samsonite just like everybody else's. This was my lunch um, and my snacks and I took a picture of this because when I was going through security in Buffalo where you know it's not um the we're, we're pretty relaxed in Buffalo let's just say that um I actually got stopped and had a secondary check on my luggage, not because any of this stuff couldn't go, but I find out later that the salami and the string cheese looks like bomb material. So, if you're packing these things, take them out, put them in the tray with your quart bag so that you don't have to um, have any questions. And... I always get a cup of Tim Hortons before I leave town when I'm going somewhere that Tim Hortons is not available. Getting into Austin, we got a super shuttle. Christina Romance arranged it for all of these llamas, um, myself included, right there. And we had a great time. It was, it was a great way to come in, to meet people. Um, there were people at the hotel and at the... Um, supposedly at the airport, although I never saw them at the airport, who were greeting people. This picture I got off the internet. It's my hotel. Um, another helpful hint, I always take a picture of my hotel room number because it's not on your key. And if you forget, you can just pick it up off your phone. I went to the Museum of the Weird, which was a lot of fun. Um... It's, if you ever go to Austin, I highly recommend it. It is a combination of horror movies and sideshow freaks and very funny, some historic, some not so historic um, artifacts. It was a really, really good tour. And this, these are pictures from my downtown tours with Joey and... The Driscoll Hotel, and then Kelsey, who did the walking, the um, music tour. She actually wrote her thesis on the music history of Austin, so she was a fantastic tour guide. Um, I had a really good time on all the walking tours I took. Okay, so now it is Friday. No, I'm sorry. Now it is Thursday, and we are at registration. And this is the line for registration where I almost had a panic attack. And these are the wonderful volunteers who were uh, checking us in. Some, so this is this washi that I bought there. And then we start with the selfies. Um, Diana Velasquez from the Sugary Gale Shop and Sandra from Planner Bomb. Some of the swag. They had a caricature artist doing um, characters for people. And this is my uh, artist, Svetlana. Um, then we have, I have a picture with Michelle Baxter and some other people. This is Friday. 1,300 llamas in one hallway. It was a, a lot. Um, but this wasn't so bad because when I got in line, um, there were a couple hundred, maybe a little bit more people there. I got there at 640. We were allowed to line up at, I think, 630. And I got there at 6.40 and there was already a couple of hundred people in line that wasn't a line. Um, and then I met Pamela and Bess while I was standing in line. They, were, they got into line behind me 
and we just had a great time sitting on the floor, talking, waiting for the doors to open. It was really, really fun. And then we got into the ballroom and it was just, it was a crazy, crazy, crazy morning, but so much fun. Um, there is Kay filming KTV <laughs> and here's my table. And I chose this table. I didn't know this. The, this is uh, Paper Focus Partners was my table. And I didn't know this shop at all. I chose the table because it was the first table I found where my chair was facing the stage. And they had flowers and pink. And they had this fantastic planner pouch that says, Shall We Plan? Which I thought was beautiful. So I sat down. And there's all of the swag that we got at the table um, and had, I had a really good time. Then here is another picture of the ballroom. It just, you can't even imagine what 1,300 people look like in one room. <laughs> um, here are the admins um, and Diane Reevely kind of dancing us in. There's Amanda. I stole that picture. Um, Aaron Condren. So now I'm getting into all the speakers and the swag drops that went with each of the speakers. So Aaron talked and we got this. Mika spoke and we got this gift. And it goes on like that. There's Emily Lay and Heidi Swamp. Um, and then here's some more selfies. I wound up sitting next to Bess at the Planner Focus Partners table, which was great. I just, I love sitting next to her. I had so much fun, and I, I'm now a huge fan of Lights Planner Action. Um, so then there's another selfie, Lisa Marie Grantland. This was Friday night. Uh, there were about, I'd say, 30 of us who had tickets to go see the Esther's Follies. And again, if you're in Austin, I highly recommend this. It was a comedy, magic show, um, very left-leaning. Uh, they say that Austin is the blue dot in the Red Sea, and, and this was, was really funny. So this is Saturday, and here you see some of the, my um, outfits. Um, Saturday, the lines were huge, don't get me wrong, but there were definitely um, not quite as much of the press and the can't move kind of feel. It was much more relaxed than Friday was. Not less exciting, but, but more a little more relaxed. So then here's the speakers. We've got the um, planner panel, Kristen and Stephanie and Dasha, and a few more pictures. And then here's my table from Saturday. And these were your fantastic table mates. Um, I sat next to Harriet. And if you were in Austin, you'll remember Harriet was the um, lady with the cowbell. We had so much fun at our table. And there's all the swag from Saturday. And then Plant Jam, I honestly didn't take a lot of pictures. Um, they had some entertainment for it. There was food, there were s'mores, there was all kinds of things going on at Plant Jamma. But it was... I was just having too much fun to take pictures, to be honest. Except that I did get in line and took pictures with Heidi, which is great. So then I did a couple of house tours. I was really obsessed with all this wallpaper um, at these houses across the street. And here we are, home again, with Minerva, who has been walking through this um, video. Here's all of my swag. And this is what I was giving away to my local planners group. So that's it for the photo album. And then the last few pages, that's 10 pages or so, um, some last bits of swag. This was the label off the water bottle. Um, next stop, Vegas. The next thing is, and I like to write, obviously, um, things to remember for next year. So things that I want to make sure that I do or don't do or whatever. And I wrote this when I got back home and it is 83 tips long. Um, if anybody wants to um, get some of these, 
or hear some of these, let me know and I can kind of do a post with a summary. Maybe not all 82 items, but some, some things that I think are important that you do or, you know, remember for um, having a good time in Echo Wild. And so, and that's it. So that was 152 pages. And I will, um, this was really, really helpful. This year, um, this was very functional. So this year I want to do a little more creative with my bullet journal setup. I've already got my bullet journal for this year, which is uh, Scribbles That Matter. It's a B6 because I want it to fit into my TN. Hello, Minerva. Um, so Scribbles That Matter. And then I've got, I took a stamping class and I've been following Michelle Baxter, so I've got some Distress Inks to do backgrounds. I've got some ink for stamping. And while I don't hate my handwriting, I don't like my headings. So I got recently um, these... I'm going to have Cindy's handwriting in my journal <laughs> through stamps. So I took Cindy's lettering class. I'm just not disciplined enough to practice every day. So I have her lettering in stamp format so that I can stamp in my journal. And I've got several other, um, sweetheart. <sighs> I love you, baby, but you're in the video. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Um, several other fonts. Um, what else do I have here? I got, um, we got This Is Swag from Christian Designs. And then I got, I picked up these llamas from Carpe Diem. So cute. And then I also have, and I'm not sure how I'm going to use them all, but <clears throat> from Planners and On, there was a opportunity to buy past stamp kits so I have and I've got a couple of current stamp kits from my own subscription um, but I've got all these stamps wild and free that'll be useful I'm not sure what exactly um, which of these I'm going to use but I've got options I love all of these stamps so pretty so that's it let me know if you have any questions um, and if you found this useful, if you want to see the finished product when this is done, getting ready for Go Wild, and I will see you in the group. Thanks for watching.